Hello YouTube, this is another QAZWSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a menu for your game in Blender. So this is using Blender 2.64. I did do one on 2.59, but they changed a few things since then that do affect this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select everything and delete it. Next what we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to add a camera. And then we're going to hit alternate R to reset the rotation of it. And then we're going to hit shift A and we're going to add text. And we're going to drag this camera up on the Z axis a, a little ways. Then we're going to switch from Blender Render to Blender Game at the top center of the screen. Drag up this bottom window and switch that to a logic editor. So then we'll switch to the camera angle by moving our mouse over the 3D view and hitting zero on the number pad. So then what we're going to do is we're going to hit G and then the center mouse button to grab the camera even further on the z-axis until we get the text about the size that we want. So in this example instead of text I'll be using single player. So next what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift A add mesh plane and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this on the z-axis till it's right behind that text switch back to the camera angle using the zero on the number pad and just kind of make this plane fit around the player text. And I'm actually going to recolor this cube just so we can see the text. So add a new material and I'll make this one red. Why not? So next what we're going to do is we're going to scale down this text just a little bit yet. Shift select the background cube and hit control P to parent it. So whenever we play the game and we'll, you'll need to uh, adjust this single player size so it fits into the cube whenever you play the game. So next what we're going to do what we're going to do is on the background plane, the button, we're going to add a mouse sensor. This will be a left button sensor, turn tap on, and we'll also do a mouse over sensor. Add an AND controller, wire both of those sensors in there, and then we'll add a scene actuator to this one. So this is basically what will happen whenever the player moves their mouse over this menu item. So what I'm going to do is, for now, I'll just uh, put a set scene controller in there, but I'll leave it empty. So in order for us to be able to use the mouse, we need to allow the player to see the mouse in the first place. So we're going to add a new tech, we're going to switch this side window to a text editor, and we'll add a new text block, and we'll name this show mouse. You can follow along here and type this in, or you can download the text file, link in the description below. So we're going to type in import rasterizer, and the next line we're going to type in rasterizer dot show mouse, open parentheses one, close parentheses. Then we're going to add, then we're going to select the camera, add an always sensor, add a Python controller, this Python controller will run our show mouse script. So when we play the game, we can see our player's mouse. We can see the uh, system mouse. So next what we're going to need to do is we need to make it so that the single player text doesn't block the mouse from being over the plane. So we'll go to the physics tab for the text and set it to no collision. So next what we're going to do is we're going to make it so the player knows he's moved his mouse over the button. So we're going to add another sensor. This will also be a mouse over sensor, but we're going to click on invert. We're going to add two more AND controllers. We can wire the first mouse over sensor into the first controller and the second mouse over sensor with the invert into the second controller. So next what we're going to do is with the background plane selected, we're going to set the keyframe to one. You can use the arrow keys to do this. And we're going to hit I, and then this keyframe menu pops up, and we'll select scaling. So then we'll go to keyframe number three, hit I again, and scaling. Then go back to number two, and we're going to scale this button up just a little bit, hit I, scaling. So then we're going to add two action actuators onto this uh, plane. The first one, we're going to choose plane action start at frame 1, end at frame 2. The second one, plane action, we're going to start at frame 2, end at frame 3. 
So whenever we play the game and we roll over the selection, it gets bigger. So it kind of confirms that yes, you have moved over this menu item. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new scene and this is basically just to show that it is working. I'm going to hit shift A, add mesh cube, shift A, add, add lamp, and then I'm going to hit shift A, add a camera, and I'm going to hit control alt zero to set the camera to my current position, like so, and then back into the first scene with the button selected and the scene actuator, I will set it to go to that scene. So whenever I play the game, move over to this item and click it, it switches to that scene. So I'll add one more item. So what, to add a new item, we just select both of these, shift D, and we can move it down to wherever we want. And I will switch this new one to exit. So you can see I can also enter edit mode with this button and scale it down so it fits, it fits nicer around the exit. So then with this plane selected, we're going to switch up the scene actuator for a game actuator, and we will just do quit game. So whenever we play, we can either go to single player or we can exit. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your video.